Hello kids, it's story time and today we're going to read a story called A Fairy Tale Adventure. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button and if you enjoy this video, give us a big thumbs up. This story is about some animal friends who go on a big adventure together. Once upon a time, Sir Ruff Ruff, the fairy princess Tweet and Boy Panda Wizard Dave set off on a fairy tale adventure. With me, King Hattie the hamster, to visit a fairy princess castle for a big party. On the way there, Ruff Ruff wanted to chase dragons, but there weren't any around. So Tweet used her free wish wand to make one appear. Okay, so we're going to help Tweet wave her wand and make her first wish appear. Bingle bongle boo, said Tweet, and magic sparkle flew through the air and landed on a squirrel. A dragon squirrel, exclaimed Dave. Ruff Ruff didn't get to chase the dragon. The dragon squirrel chased him. Quick, everyone hide, shouted Ruff Ruff to his friends. Now let's help them all hide behind a rock. Come on, quick, let's hide. In the excitement, Tweet had accidentally dropped her wand. The dragon squirrel swooped down and grabbed it. We'll never stop him from being a dragon without your wand, said Ruff Ruff. Tweet needed her wand back. The dragon squirrel loved Tweet's wand and kept nibbling it. It didn't look as if they would ever get it back. Until Dave had a wise wizard idea. In fairy stories you can always trick a dragon. If we give him something that he likes to eat more than a wand, then maybe he'll give it back, suggested Dave. It's a great idea, but can you think of something that squirrels like to eat? Ruff Ruff thinks they love bones. Sweet thinks it's nuts, and Dave thinks squirrels eat bananas. Hmm, well, I don't think it's a bone, and I don't think it's a banana, so it's gotta be the nuts. Well done, it was Tweet. Squirrels like nuts. Ruff Ruff set off to sniff out some nuts. He returned with a big pile of nuts on his shield. The dragon squirrel threw the wand away and ran to the nuts. While he was busy eating, Brave Ruff Ruff quickly grabbed the wand and gave it back to Tweet. Hooray! I've got my wand back. Thank you, Brave Sir Ruff Ruff, she said. With her wand returned, Tweet made her second wish. Now we're going to help Tweet make her second wish by helping her wave her wand and swooshy bingo bango. Be a dragon no more. Bingo bongo boo, she said, and the magic sparkle hit the dragon squirrel. Turning him back into a cute, friendly squirrel. Yay! They all cheered with excitement. We did it, said Tweet. Tweet only had one wish left in her free wish magic wand. Everyone wanted to go to the fairy princess castle for a party, so she knew what her last wish would be. Let's help her make her final wish. Bingo, bango, with wish number three, Bingle Bongle Boo and Magical Fairy Tale Castle appeared. They ran up to the castle and found a table full of all their favourite food. Wow, it's a fairy tale feast for dinner, cheered Dave. Ruff Ruff, Tweet and Dave tucked into the feast and had a great party. And just like all good fairy tales, they all live happily ever after. Can you remember who turned the squirrel into a dragon squirrel? Was it Ruff Ruff, Tweet, or was it Dave? Yeah, it was Tweet. Who got Tweet's wand back? Was it Ruff Ruff, Tweet, or Dave? Yeah, it was Ruff Ruff. Who was the blue panda wizard? Was it Ruff Ruff, Tweet, or Dave. Yeah, it was Dave. Where would you go on your fairy tale adventure? If it was me, I'd wish to go to a big fairy tale castle too and wish for loads and loads of toys so I could have so much fun with all my friends. If you had a magic wand, what would be your three wishes? One of my wishes would be to make sure all the other little kids around the world had access to food and water and even toys. Because some of the other kids aren't as fortunate as what you and I are. 
so that would be one of my wishes. Well kids, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this story. I'll see you soon for the next story time. Goodbye.